So let's examine the following claim. Is projectile motion parabolic? Well, let's recall what the general formula of a quadratic equation is. So we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are simply our constants. So what this claim is saying is when our object is traveling along the xy plane in two dimensions, if let's say it begins at the origin and it ends at this position here along the x-axis, the pathway that it will create will be the following parabola. So to see whether or not this is true, our goal will be to find an equation for y in terms of x and see if that equation matches the general formula of our quadratic equation shown here. So let's begin by making the assumption that our object is moving with constant acceleration and there is no air resistance. That means we can write the following formula. So our final position along the y-axis, y is equal to our initial position along the y-axis, y naught, plus our initial velocity along the y-axis multiplied by time minus one-half gt squared. So our g is simply our gravitational acceleration, and this negative comes from the fact that our g is assumed to be negative because going downward is negative, going upward along the uh, y-axis is positive. So, what we essentially need to do is we need to take this equation and replace the t term with the x term because we're finding an equation for y with respect to x. So we need to replace the time, the t term, with x. So now, in the second step, we need to find an equation for x in terms of time. Then solve for time and plug in that time for this time. So we'll see exactly what that means in just a moment. So here we have our second equation that also comes from the fact that we have constant acceleration. So our final position along the x-axis is equal to our initial position along the x-axis plus our initial horizontal velocity times time plus one-half ax, where ax is simply our acceleration along the x-axis multiplied by time squared. Now, we're making the assumption that our object uh, is not undergoing air resistance. So that means this term is zero. We have no acceleration along the x-axis, so th that means this goes to zero. Let's also make the assumption that our initial position along the x-axis is zero. So we get the following result. Now, let's, let's bring time to one side, everything else to the other side. So we have the following equation, which basically gives us time in terms of x. So now we take this equation, which is equivalent to time, and we plug it into our initial equation in this section here. So we get the following result. Our final position along the y-axis is equal to our initial position along the y-axis plus our velocity along the y-axis multiplied by, well, we simply plug in this value, minus g divided by 2, and now we plug in this value into time and we square it and we get the following result. So y is equal to, we take this term and bring it to the front, we get the following result. Then we take this term and bring it to the end and we leave this term in the middle. So we get the following equation that gives us y in terms of x. So notice that this term is a constant, this term is a constant, and this term is a constant. So in fact, this is our A term, this is our B term, and this is our C term, and this equation is exactly identical, has the same exact form as the following parabolic equation, as the following quadratic equation. And that means that projectile motion is in fact parabolic, as the claim initially stated.